<laughs> Are you sure? Yes, yes, yes. Do you oh, want to take my, my place? <laughs> I feel good. I feel pretty relaxed. I feel, uh, I feel fine. So, uh, Going probably, in, uh, um, I'm a little nervous. I'm feeling better now that my hair and makeup is finished, but a little nervous. I am like trying to maintain this like on the outside that I'm great, but I'm definitely a little nervous on the inside. Definitely a little nervous. I usually sleep like the dead, and I did not sleep last night. And I had food poisoning, which didn't help, so. That's terrible. <laughs> so are you feeling any better? Or just, no. I'm glad to see these humans, but I don't know, I'm nervous. I'm just, I'm a nervous human being already, so. I don't know what to expect. I <laughs> just, it's like ripping the band-aid off. I'm actually okay right now. I'm, I did sleep like death last night. I mean, I, I slept well. Like the dead? Yeah, like the dead. <laughs> I, I had a good night's sleep. I did wake up and like not know where I was. And, that hotel room's kind of fun. And then it came to reality of what we had to do today. Um, I don't know. I'm not anxious like for myself this year because I don't have as much like I don't have really a ton of drama but I'm anxious for other people and I'm also ready to like try to make people just tell the truth because I feel like there was a lot of BS this season and I'm just ready for people to like be honest. That's the main thing. I feel like you know more than in the past you know there's definitely a spotlight shown on a lot of things that happened to me this year. And, um, you know, mending friendships, you know, figuring out relationships, you know, just all, all sorts of things. And, I, you know, I'm sure that things that I've thought about are going to get brought up, and, and you know, therein lies the kind of either reactionary, so stay under these cues. So I watched half of the season and there's a few things that drove me a little bit crazy about the way it came out and I was, I was, my, li my life was being negatively affected, those around me and don't really fault anybody in particular <laughs> uh, and I'm not going to point fingers but I don't know. You know, the last few years <laughs> I've had like you know, an ongoing like, relationship to exactly deal with but this year I get to just be myself. So. I mean, at this point, just say what's on your mind and hope that the conflict resolution doesn't end in people kicking shit. We'll see. We'll see. I feel like this whole thing is like a reactionary thing. Just kind of react to what's going on around you. And try not to tread water too much. <laughs> I really wanted something comfortable and that I didn't have to go out and buy, so I chose something I already had and obviously something from Le Bay. It is one shoulder and it's me. It's pretty plain, not gonna lie. <laughs> Nothing too crazy. So, went to Ferragamo and they've been incredibly kind to me the past three years. And we started with you know the shirt. And I was like, I love this shirt. And then we built the whole outfit kind of around it. But my pants are um I I going to sound silly. I mean I'm pretty sure that she said it was like hundred percent cashmere, but like they feel like a sweat panel. But they look really sharp. Uh it's a purple velvet smoking jacket. Yeah, by Ralph Beck, so it should be a different look, but uh, still kind of my style, so. I had a friend who I trust in the fashion world pick something out for me, and it's a little more scandalous than I'm used to. I usually go very conservative, but I'm kind of excited to be a little sassy. It's a little sassy. There's going to be some lingerie showing Chelsea's look. I had a stylist help me at Gwen's, and I've nor every year, this is my sixth, sixth reunion, and every year I've done like a shorter dress, but so for the first time I'm doing a long dress. Coming for you, Catherine. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, it's a very pretty, uh, very southern looking floral kind of dress, and big hair. The bigger the hair, the closer to Jesus. And yeah, I don't know, just very southern, and my mom dresses me, so. So I'm wearing 
a strapless, half black, half white. It looks like a dress, but it's actually um, a jumpsuit. I end up wearing a white off the shoulder jumpsuit from Hampton uh, that Patricia picked out for me. And these amazing um, sequin heels. And these earrings from Patricia, of course. She helped you with your look. She helped me, yes. Yeah, I went to Ferragamo and they gave me this like light gray suit, which I love the light gray suit because James Bond wears one. So I got a gray suit tailored, but then the caveat is they're trying to sell tennis, like fancy tennis shoes. So I'm wearing sort of like moon boots with my, I, I am, it's not my personality. I'm not all that stoked about it, but they are being so nice as to give me all this stuff for free. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Ferragamo, and I will pimp your weird shoes. <laughs> Long for the ride, and, um, and you know, I'll play ball. I have an opinion about everything. I think I paid a price often for um, telling people exactly what I think and not trying to hide, not trying to be someone I'm not, and that can get me in trouble. And it kind of did maybe a little this season. I called it like I seen it, saw it. Yeah, um, maybe not a little bit towards me, but like. There's a lot of, there's so much other drama that like broke out towards the end of this season. So, and I, I feel frustrated for some of my friends, one who's sitting next to me. Um, <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of um, rumors that have been spread that I didn't deserve and we've done nothing. Not enough apologies from certain, or not any apologies. From no remorse. Yeah, absolutely no remorse for what was done. False apologies and torment after. <laughs> so I think a few people need to be put in line. I think I, you know, I've had I've okay. had a couple of people apologize to me um, after certain episodes, call me, you know, cast members, and be like, "Look, I'm really sorry. I was wrong. I was, you were right. I was wrong." Kind of thing. I backed the wrong deal, and so I guess that's satisfying. I hope they step up and, and put their money where their mouth is when the cameras are on. Yeah, I mean, everyone is in a pretty good place right now, and I kind of, kind of worried to open, you know, old rooms. Um, you know, it's going to be tough. I think everyone's pretty friendly right now with each other, and, you know, unfortunately things do need to be talked about, and, you know, I don't know how everyone's going to handle it, so. You need a, some people need to come to Jesus. Like, there's, like, common decency. We all need Jesus. It should be the common denominator. And the face for how you act. I just want everyone to get along. I know that's kind of possible in this right here, but I've been doing a lot of praying. This year, there's a chance that we're not all at dinner together afterwards. I mean, usually we're, we'll all go to dinner and have a nice time. I think I would probably put my money on that not happening this year. 
Hey y'all, it's Austin. Subscribe here if you like the video and click here for more content.